got a group going to the river. Us. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Yeah. You you pretty. Uh, you run the. Uh, you make the donuts. Yeah, yeah. He makes. Uh, I don't. I don't make the donuts. I make the donuts look pretty. I do all the pictures and videos and all that. Okay. Cool. In the jerseys. In the jerseys. Yeah. All right. So how far y'all going? Uh, we're going back to uh, Evans Road and then over to Galloway Station. Boy, that's a pretty bike. Thank you. Like What's your name? Buddy. Buddy Huggins. Friends with you on Strava. Yeah. Kathy Jackson. Strava is a good place to see everybody. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that says 92 miles, five hours and 48 minutes. Beautiful sky. As you can tell, uh, I'm doing 100 again today. 92 and I got to get to Ozark. It's 15 miles. So that'll put me at 107. I didn't know I was going to do it until I got I got going. And then once I once I got going, I couldn't stop. I was too close. I almost like said, well, you know, five laps is is enough. And then I seen how close that is. That's just too close to. 107 not to do it but um a lady that is uh comments on my videos watches my videos likes them she wants to know my opinion on the rapture and uh man i tell you it's i guess the way i see it it, it ain't like everybody else sees it because uh i remember when i you know went to church and uh they'd be singing by and by I'd be flying away or something like um, everybody's gonna fly up in the sky and uh, call that a rapture and they ain't got anything to do with what what the Bible's talking about if y'all really don't understand what I'm saying just use a little bit of common sense and the word rapture means to be caught up in bliss into like a euphoria of uh, conscious awareness. That's what rapture is. I was raptured August the 17th, 2003. Uh, uh, you, how many times can you be raptured? If it's done right, <laughs> it's only one. It's when you become self-aware. It's when you become consciously starting to awake in every atom of your body, every cell, every DNA. That's the rapture. It's an ongoing effect. You just don't, people just wake up, but they don't just pop into another dimension. The actual dimension of rapture is within us. It's inside of us. There's no waiting on it to happen. It, it, it can happen with the right situation in your life that would either be the thing that would break you or the thing that would make you. If the church is waiting for a rapture, that's their problem. They ain't got anything to do with what I'm talking about. The one that was talking about rapture before Jesus was ever even talked about and even wasn't <laughs> was Buddha. Buddha was the first one to explain what rapture was and when it was. And so he was way before Christ, over 500 years before Christ. And uh, so, Bye. I don't know, it's just a misinterpreted word that a lot of people are just really totally confused. And there ain't gonna be no 
caught up in the air with a whole group of people. How, how would you even know what was the right group to hang out with so you don't get left behind? They've made videos and movies about being left behind. Damn right I'm left behind. <laughs> there, ain't no, there ain't no place to go, man. People think, well, you ain't going to heaven, buddy, talking like that. Well, I live in a state of heaven. <laughs> I live in a state of bliss. If it got any better, I'd disappear. All right, that's enough ranting from me. I got to go. <laughs> I got to get back to Ozark to have this, this mileage done. 107. Later, people. Well, I'm going to do something just for fun, just for me. That's 100 miles. That's 100 miles. And this is where I'm at. I'm right between these two homes here when I hit the 100 mile mark. Now, next time I ride, and I do, next time I ride and I do 100, I'm going to um, see if it stops the same place. <laughs> I just, those are just little idiosyncrasies and uh, thingies I do to just keep myself occupied. Some people say the earth is moving, like up and down, like some of these hills we see, you think it's the same hill that you've always seen, but I, I can't prove it because I, I mean, I'd have to be, you know, like get the survey rod out and do, you know, do line and grade, you know, check the height of it and everything. But uh, I just heard this guy talking about it. And he said that the earth is like bulging in different places and residing. There's a lot of sinkholes around here in Missouri. But uh, I got to admit, at the beginning of this year's starting the season, there's a couple of little bitty hills. I might show you which ones they are later on. But uh, I could have swore they was bigger this, this time around. That's, that's just one of the things that makes me go, hmm. Do you, you have a lot of things that make you just go, hmm. Well, that's, that's the way I am. <laughs> All right, people. I'm, I'm hyped up. 100 miles out and I got seven to go. All right. Well, I wish you'd look at how fast this guy is going. He is running. This is one of the most prolific fields of alfalfa in this whole area. And they got it down to a science. Today is the tw uh, Saturday the 28th or the 29th. But uh, I, I was wondering when they was gonna start taking care of this and cut it and get ready to rake it and well, by the time he cuts it they don't need to pull it together they just come back and roll it up but i thought i'd show you that this this farm right here all that frontage acreage that way on the end end and all the way back here on the back 40 makes a lot of high quality bells so i thought i'd mention that now that I pull the camera back out, let me mention this. If anybody in the Springfield Branson area, Ozark, wants to do some hundreds, some century this summer, get with me. Um, BuddyHuggins at gmail.com is one easy way to get me. Go to Facebook, friend me on Facebook. My name, Buddy Huggins, H-U-G-G-I-N-S. And uh, just, let's just do it. I mean, I'll, I'll work with you. I won't run off and leave you, but show you the path and show you the hill, show you, you know, the speed sections. And uh, I think it'd be fun to have a, some people that haven't ever done it before or some people that have done it. I'm not no expert at it, but I, I, I just think I ought to offer it to people. Look at my Striva. The link is in the description. In the description, Striva. And, uh, do if you got if you're on Striver good if you're not get on Striver find me on Striver 
do an athletic athlete search for Buddy Huggins, and you'll find me. And uh, look at my my path. Look at the uh, the way I do that big red re re rectangle, County Line Road, and 186. I make a big rectangle out of that. But I leave from Ozark. You can meet me at. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. But yeah, let's just think about it. Let's let's put a group together because if we got if we're drafting and everybody takes time and turns to do that, it, 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 it's easy, it makes it easier on you. They say when you draft, you're doing 70% less work. I need somebody, I need somebody that's in front of me so I can draft on them. <laughs> now nah, I'm just saying, if you wanna do a century, all joking aside, study my, my uh, path. That's the least amount of hills I could find in this whole area. It's still got some hills on it, but they're not huge. They're, they're just good hills. Two or three of them will make you cuss. But um, yeah, even if you don't come out here with me, just I am just want everybody in uh, a Springfield Brewery um, group to know that the sentries are out here. They're just waiting on us. <laughs> come on and get you some. All right, later.